This is MSJ Chem and in this video we're going to look at VS EPR theory for the higher level. The actual theory is the same as in the standard level video, so valence shell electron pair repulsion theory is used to predict the geometry of molecules. Electron pairs repel each other and spread apart as far as possible. The term electron domain is used to refer to bonds or lone pairs of electrons around an atom in a molecule. Single bonds, double bonds, triple bonds and lone pairs of electrons count as one electron domain. Here we have the Lewis structure for sulfur tetrafluoride. As you can see there are five electron domains around the sulfur atom. There are four bonding domains and one lone pair of electrons. In this high level video we'll consider central atoms with five and six electron domains. Next we look at expanded octets. Atoms in period 3 onwards such as chlorine, bromine, sulfur and phosphorus are able to use their d orbitals for bonding. These atoms have expanded octets. They are able to hold more than 8 electrons in their valence shells. So we'll start with 5 electron domains around the central atom. So in our first example we have 5 electron domains and all 5 of those electron domains are bonding domains. So we have 0 lone pairs of electrons. The molecular geometry is trigonal bipyramidal. An example is PCL5 and you can see the Lewis structure here and the bond angle is 90 degrees and 120 degrees. In our next example we have 5 electron domains, 4 of those are bonding domains so we have one lone pair of electrons. The molecular geometry is seesaw, an example is SF4, here's the Lewis structure and the bond angles are 90 degrees and less than 120 degrees. This bond angle of less than 120 degrees is caused by the extra repulsion from this lone pair of electrons on the sulfur atom. So next we look at 5 electron domains, 3 bonding domains and 2 lone pairs of electrons. The molecular geometry is T-shaped, an example is chlorine trifluoride which you can see the Lewis structure here and the bond angles are less than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees. The two bond angles of less than 90 and less than 180 are caused by the extra repulsion of these lone pairs of electrons on the chlorine atom. And in the last example with five electron domains, we have two bonding domains, three lone pairs of electrons, the molecular geometry is linear, an example is I3 negative, you can see the Lewis structure here and the bond angle is 180 degrees. Next we look at some 3D representations of these molecules. So we'll start with PCL5 which has the molecular geometry trigonal bipyramidal. The bond angle here is 90 degrees and the bond angle around the center between these three atoms here is 120 degrees. The next example is SF4 which has the molecular geometry seesaw. Next we have chlorine trifluoride which is T-shaped and finally I3 negative which is linear. We're now moving on to 6 electron domains around the central atom. So we start with 6 electron domains and all 6 of those are bonding domains with 0 lone pairs of electrons. The molecular geometry is octahedral, an example is SF6 and here's the Lewis structure and the bond angle is 90 degrees. Next we have 6 electron domains, 5 bonding domains and 1 lone pair of electrons. The molecular geometry is square pyramidal, the example is BRF5 and here's the Lewis structure. The bond angle is less than 90 degrees, the less than 90 degree bond angle is caused by the extra repulsion of this lone pair of electrons on the bromine atom. And finally we have 6 electron domains, 4 bonding domains, 2 lone pairs of electrons, the molecular geometry is square planar, the example is XEF4, here's the Lewis structure and the bond angle is 90 degrees. Next we look at some 3D representations of these molecules. We'll start with SF6 which is octahedral and has a 90 degree bond angle. Next we have BRF5 which has the molecular geometry square pyramidal. And finally we have XEF4 which has the molecular geometry square planar. In this video I've covered all the molecular geometries that you need to know for higher level. I'll put a link to a practice worksheet in the video description 
along with a table that summarizes all the molecular geometries and bond angles.